Good evening and welcome back once again. So it's been a while since I've actually recorded something on uh, PGA Tour 2K23. I've just finished the first season of my career and won the FedEx Cup, which was good. I thought I'd just give the career a little bit of a break and just have a look at some of the custom courses, so the user created courses. I spotted one by someone that I follow on Twitter called Rich Hall, I think or Rich NUFC. And as you can see, he's got a great course called Port Withick. How do you pronounce it? Clearly he's a, another Newcastle fan, which is great. And seeing a couple of screenshots from this, I've seen someone else sharing it. And it looks like a nice Lynx course. So I'm going to give that a go. Just give us a, a bit of a break from the, the career mode, which are very much, you know, the Americanized style courses. And this one looks much of a sort of uh, Scottish type course. I'm assuming it's supposed to be. I don't know that name. I don't know if that's based on a, on a real course or not. Um, but I just thought we'll jump in. So we'll see you on the tee. So first tee, par four. I couldn't remember the controls of the camera there for a second. Yep, so have a look here. Got a nice, I mean, you've got a lovely view there and the uh, the lighthouse in the background. Actually, I'm over this section here. Yeah, I think this one's a little bit more risky, but I think you've got a better approach into the green. So I'm going to go this way. I'm going to put a little bit of draw on. We will be rusty. But that should be decent if it kicks right. Should do. It did. Lovely view. That one's in the background. So 146, playing about 144, and then with the wind, maybe about 150. Yeah, about, yeah, about 150 with the wind. A little bit to the right just because of the, the light. And bang on target. Since looks good. A hole out on the first tee after a couple of weeks off would have been good. So yeah, I think the last time I actually Played around, well, I did play around yesterday. That was my first one in probably over two weeks, I think. Um, just been playing Pro Evolution Soccer 6 quite a lot and trying out a few other games and just had a lot of work commitments on. A nice powerful here, Bunker, really well placed. Slopes down to the right as well, so this is going to be... Oh, this is tricky. Um, look at the book. I did land short. Still have a way into the pin, wouldn't I? Like this, this is... Uh, Just aim for the right side of the bunker. It should um, go to the right with the wind. Hasn't gone as much, but it should stay okay. Yeah, that's ideal. We didn't want it going down that slope. Okay, so fair distance to go. So 196, say it plays about 190. Gonna play about as is with the wind. Ball will go right because of the wind and the rig, so I'm going to aim over here. I might draw it in a bit. Put a little bit of spin and loft on. I 
that's looking decent. Very nice. Soft landing there. And yeah, and I did actually try and record the last round of my career. So it was the, I, I put the um, sort of the bigger trophies as two rounds. Um, the first round I had played a few weeks ago and the second round was, was the finale of the FedEx Cup. Um, which I did win. I tried to record it, but I tried using OBS, and it was just, it was so laggy that the meter was terrible. Um, so I'm actually recording just using the, the built-in NVIDIA uh, software in this one, which I don't think gives as much quality visually, but I just, it was barely playable, so... R4 here, hit it right and get a little bit of luck, we could get, or we should get on the green. We kicked right a little bit there. That's pretty decent, what, 25 foot, something like that for an eagle? Uh, 21 foot, or downhill. I'm going to bring it back a little bit. I think we'll play this one as... Maybe a, a full square wide. And you know, I took some of the. I have to hit this one, I think. In. Oh, that was poor. <sighs> For an eagle, end up getting a par. At least we didn't drop a shot, but that's. Uh, very much a wasted opportunity. It's the first par three. Um, nine, so I think we're going to play this one as 143. But yeah, that should be about right. And... Out here. Be a little bit of backspin just to stop it from... Running too far. Go, go, go. Go. Oh, oh close to hole in one there. <laughs> um, I actually nearly hit hole in one on the course I was recording yesterday and I actually uploaded it as just a short video because luckily it wasn't as laggy. Um, the recording at that stage. That one I think was even closer. So, par 4. Nice big open area here to aim for. Yeah, I think we'll play it. Actually, we'll play a bit of draw to keep bringing it back in. Go, get a good bounce, get a good bounce. Decent bounce, get over that crest of the hill. I don't want to be on a down slope. Uh, a bit on a down slope here. And it's above my feet. Um, so this will play 67, about 160 ish. I'll play about here. And obviously the lie as well, I'm going to double check, but... Yeah, so... We don't mind it being sort of over here to the left, because that should swing it back in, so... Okay, if it goes over there... Got a little bit too much on this. Yeah, the wind just picked it up a little bit, but... Oh, is it going back? Very nice. Very nice. Ah, 
up in for a birdie. Really enjoying the course so far. It looks amazing. Um, some really, yeah, Lynx just has a, a very different feel to it. And I'm, I'm enjoying that very much. Just tip those bunkers out of play. Decent bounce forward, not so much. Speed that up a bit. Yeah, not too bad of a lie. Obviously, Lynx courses are quite undulating, so you are going to have some quite a few lies where, even in the fairway, you can have it above your feet, below your feet, etc. So that's just something you've got to um, take into account when you when you take your shots. I like this green, so it does very much feed into the hole if you get it right but you know obviously these two bunkers are very dangerous the wind as well and the light so this is going to be tricky so um this should play about 178 i'll actually leave it at that about here but it is going right so um, this is a tricky one Turn right, turn right, turn right. Oof. Oh well, that was lucky. That was lucky. Because it did play it into the right area. A little too far left, maybe. Um, but it was really the power. Um, Nelly caught me out. This is a tricky putt, so... And I think we might need this as a, as a full. I mean, that looks quite extreme, but that is going to tip pretty sharply. It did. I did play a little bit safe and take some power off. If I added the extra power, I might have been able to get that, but you risk rolling, you know, five to ten feet past off if you do that. Um, and I'm just getting back into the game, so I don't want to take, you know, too many risks. Okay, so this is a nice par 5, got this big beach here, nice little alcove. Was it, well, it's like a reverse alcove almost, isn't it? And then, we can get somewhere over here, we've still got, yeah, fair distance, but you could split the bunkers. And just lay up. It's probably going to be a layup, especially with the wind. So, yeah, let's play it here, let's... Hope it hits a little bit of a bounce to the right, because it does look like it's sloping from left to right a little bit. And it does. It's going to be a tricky light. Yeah, look at that. Um, I mean, we're going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. far enough left I didn't thought I had I was gonna well I was gonna plug in the bunker it didn't plug yeah that tipped a that I know it was on a on a slope but that turned even more than I thought it was gonna to go left a bit but then the slope goes to the right Stop, stop, stop. That's not bad. That's not bad. Lovely view there. Nice putt. Didn't take the weight off that time. Risk running past a little bit if you miss. But um, it does make the putt a little bit easier. So par four. Have a look here. Got a bunker just about where you're going to be aiming. Could aim over here and the wind's going left, so it should bring it back a bit, which is. Um, hmm. Maybe. This doesn't roll 
down the slope into the rough. Feel like it's uh, quite a large fairway. As links tend to be. Oh, nasty uh, bridge down here. Probably do want to maybe fade it in a little bit this way. Then you're risking the bunker. Um, and the wind's pushing it left as well. So, it's uphill. Well, the wind and the uphill probably cancel each other out a little bit. So that's probably about right. I'm going to put a bit of fade, a bit of that, a bit of backspin. I am going to leave it back because the wind should take a left. This will take a right a little bit. In fact, no, I am going to leave a little bit left. I'd rather go on the left portion anywhere. That looks decent. Looks decent. Not bad. Did put a fair bit of loft on, so it's taking this thing out of it. So, got a 30 footer. Does go right a little bit. I see out there. One, ten, ten. Oh, I didn't put enough power into it. Mistake. Never want to leave it short. It's one thing you don't want to do. So the last of the front nine, par three, and this again, let's just have a different view. Looks stunning, doesn't it? So close to 200 yards. Downhill, but the wind's slightly going left to right. Uh, sorry, in off haste, but yeah, it's going left to right. So going to aim. Out here, a little bit of loft, a little bit of spin, not too much, I don't want to... And the wind's just dropped a little bit, and changed direction slightly, should still be good. Yeah, not bad, let's roll them back a little bit, nice. Turn, turn, turn. No. You see, and it does roll a fair bit past. I mean, this is a relatively easy putt, but you can see what can happen. I'll take that, though. So, a very, very solid 30 on the front nine. Really enjoying the course so far. Okay, this is an interesting one. So it looks about 3.30, the end of the fairway there, but it is downhill and the wind is helping quite a lot, so I'm going to fade this in slightly, drop a club. I am a little bit worse you can tell from the swing, it's not um, hit some good shots, but Definitely not quite fully on it. Yeah, it's well judged distance wise. Wanted to be on this on this upper deck. Oh, this is interesting. So hill here. So this will stop quite quickly. Um wind is helping a lot, but this distance it shouldn't. Into account as much really. Kind of a bit though, so if I play it there, a bit of
Get in. Oh, close. Almost perfectly judged. We sometimes have rounds where, you know, every shot, you may not hit every shot perfectly, but you, know, you pick the right shot, you pick the right club, the distance, loft spin, everything, and other times it's just atrocious. Um, I'm not sure why that is. It depends on the course as well. But playing pretty well so far. I think I'm going to aim on this side. Um, well, over here is better for the shot. Dropped it a little bit, so we're playing 97%. Partly where I wanted it. Um, this is going to go up in the air quite a bit on to the right. This plays probably about 10. I'm going to play it as is. Now this may stop a little bit short. Um, I'll put a bit of D-loft on. And a little bit of roll. Right about this, just there. Yeah. Make sure it doesn't go too far right. You bang on if it just rolls a bit. Stop, stop, stop. Nice. Not bad. Overshot a little bit, so put a, maybe a little bit too much D loft on. I think can we. Right edge. Oh, I could see it just, there must have been a slight little slope just next to where the ball was. Just went a tiny bit left at the start there. Very close. So, par five. Make it over here. Over here. How much do I want to risk? And this helping. So, I say we go here, full blast. Hit it as about as well as I can. Miles over, great stuff. Kick right. Getting close to 400 yard drive there. So 202, I'm going to play about 212, wind's helping a bit, so maybe 209, put a bit of D lo uh, loft, keep getting those words mixed up somehow. Well, it's going to go left a bit, and maybe a little bit more. Go. Don't go. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, just overshot it. Um what do we want to do? Yep. I really want to chip. Yeah, I'm gonna go for a chip. This chip I've had a while, but I'm normally fairly decent at them. Well, that's overshot it by a long way. Hmm. Going left, then it's going right. But. Nice. Very nice. Take that. Especially after I overshot the chip, I'll take that birdie. 
Par three, quite a short par three here. Uh, it's going to be about 135, about 128. Then 130. I draw it in a bit. Bit of. It's been lost. Yeah, that should do. Didn't turn as much as I wanted to, but that's pretty safe. Endangering the flag stick though. Lovely view over here. So, I turn a fair bit at the start. I take the flag stick back out. Just across the face of the hole. I still don't like that view though, the putting. Oops, wasn't constrained. Um, yeah, I wish you could change it so the ball just stayed as is. And not the ball, the camera just stayed as is when you take the putt, but not on other shots. I like the follow cam on, you know, the approach shots, the drives, etc. Really don't like God put because the play just gets in the way. That, then either that or they need to change. I don't know. They need to change it slightly. Right. Lame. I'm going to turn left quite a lot. Yeah, it's spot on. It's fine. We're not on the slope. Oh, that's going to be a tricky lie. Oh, God. Yeah. Um, oh, seven, seventeen. I've got an add on roughly. It's about one forty-eight. Um, be loft. Line. nice Dead, if anything at all look at that this isn't a criticism of the course but in general the, sometimes the greens the indicators do not match up with what happens I mean that looked absolutely dead straight just around about the hole afterwards, it looked like it was turning right. There was no movement to the left at any stage. Um, and it moved left. Don't really think there's much I can do about that. Right, well, this is an interesting par four. Um, so it's 50 foot downhill. The wind is helping a little bit, and it's also a good direction left to right. Play it here with a bit of fade, comes back in. This could, could reach the green. Now we might have a massive putt if we do reach the green. One kick, kick. Well, that way. <sighs> Unlucky. Kick right, that was going to be pretty near the hole. Um, We probably want a... Yeah, what's ideal for this? Terrible lie. Very good shot. Oh, it didn't spin back. Change. Right, let's look at this. There's there's no movement. Be a little bit right to left here. Let's just play it as is and see what happens. Oh, so no movement. So sometimes you just can't tell. And that's not just me misreading unless, I mean, I'll, I could watch it over again later, but I'm sure that putt was pretty much 
Hot one. Um, so this should play about 142. And the wind is helping ever so slightly. I'm gonna say it, but got a feeling. Go, go, go! Don't bounce too much. Oh. Had that dialed in there, didn't I? Um, just a little bit too much power. Nice. I just had a feeling on that that I was going to get very close. Um, nice hole there. Nice pin placement as well, like right towards the front of the green. So you are taking a bit of a risk going right at it because hit that slightly wrong, misjudge the distance slightly. You know, you're not on the green at all. Off four. And clearly, we're going to aim way left here. See if we can get a bit of a, a kick on that slope. Right. Just about spot on. I should kick right and forward. Yeah. Brilliant. Landed in a fairly nice flat area. Yeah, I mean, not so much, but that is pretty much what as good as you're going to get on a on a links course. Um. About 174, 75, then the wind. So I think this is about spot on. Um, got here with the lie. Play a little bit safe, a little bit of spin. Oh, this looks good runs maybe you put a bit too much loft on did I certainly did so I'm gonna add a tiny bit and I'm gonna aim That has not turned at all. It's not just me, is it? That didn't... It was definitely right or left. You know, whether I overcompensated or undercompensated, I wasn't sure before the shot, but it should have turned right or left somewhat. Um, oh, here. A lovely view. Nice villas, I suppose, over there, the mountainside. Be in the background. Bunkers. Keep going, keep going. It's gonna be nasty. Oh, actually, it's not too bad. Not too bad. Um, this should play. Left and with a wind, don't mind going a little bit left because it does slope back in. But, um, yeah, we don't want to be risking going off the left side of the green there. That's a good line. Run a little bit, run a little bit, just a little bit. Nice. Yeah, if I was being a bit risky, I would have aimed a bit further left because, like I say, it sloped in. You can see it sloped away from the hole there. Um, just depends how you feel. You know, you're willing to risk it and then have a... If it goes wrong, you've got a tricky little chip or flop shot or something coming back in.
And there we go, that was the um, that was the course. Sorry, I didn't realise that was 18-4. I was so caught up in the shots and the actual the views that I didn't realise that that was 18 But I think that's probably a good sign. Um, Got to say, I really, really enjoyed that. I'm going to hit, fair enough, hitting 100% fairways on that links. Probably not that difficult, but you could get yourself in some real trouble if you take the wrong, you know, slightly miss hit it, um, make the wrong decision. You know, some really good bunker placements in there. But really happy with that. Let's have a quick look at the scorecard. So bogey free round and I actually ended up hitting um, 30 on the front nine and the back nine. So 10 under on a par 70. Really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll just show you the course details again. So what I would say is go and try it. Search for this. It should be across all platforms. I'm actually going to rate this now whilst I'm, I'm on here. Definitely giving it a five stars. Really enjoy that. And I'm going to favourite it. Um, I think we'll not, we'll not do that on, on the line just in case there's anything on there that you wouldn't want to show. But um, another guy was called Rich Hall um, or Rich NUFC. Um, I think is his actual uh, username. He's on Twitter as well, so what I'll do is when I upload this, I will tag him in it just so you know people can be aware to find his stuff because I think he does actually have a few courses. I don't know how many, um, but I have seen him post some. He must have done quite a bit on 2K21 and he's ported some over. So yeah, big shout out to him. Absolutely lovely course. If there's other courses or anything like this, I'll definitely be playing more of them. So thank you very much for joining. Hope to see you next time. Please leave a like down below, but much more. I'd like to see some comments about maybe some courses that you've played that um, that you really recommend because there's so many out there. Um, you know, the official ones are good, but I really want to try the the, the custom courses, the created courses. Um, so yeah, put some comments down below. Um, if you've designed any courses that you'd like me to try, um, leave your details as well. But thank you very much, and I'll speak to you soon.